Good afternoon and welcome once again to my channel. I'm just doing a brief update to give you uh, some feedback regarding my peace lily. Now, this is one of the first, among the first plants that I transferred to Lekka. It is um, a house plant that I've owned for a while before I um, did that uh, transfer. Um, it had been doing well. I say had because we um, got some sun recently. So I changed the position of where the plant was to put it to get more sun. Everybody that knows that Peace Lily is um, likes low light, don't like direct sunlight. But I was so pleased to see the sun and was hoping that it would benefit from a burst of sunlight. So I put it directly in the sun and that caused some damage to my plant. Up until then, it had been doing quite well. So I'm a bit disappointed in myself. But, you know, you learn as you go with these things because, you know, everybody's craving the sunlight. And, you know, my front room is so dark. I have a lot of light in here, even during the daytime, because it's so dark that I tend to want to give my plants more light as soon as it comes available. But I need to remember that not all plants like the direct sunlight. So I will show you what it looks like. So um, I've got it in a big fish bowl, if you remember. So the side that the sun hit is this side and it has caused the leaves to droop quite a bit, um, which I've got nobody to blame but myself because, you know, up until then, the plant has been doing so well. The side that was in the shade um, is okay. Um, some of the leaves, there's okay. one here you can see um, that was burnt um, quite badly by the sun. But um, I've got new shoots coming up from this side. Um, I thought that I could maybe recover this the side that um is sun damaged by adding water to it or even some you know super thrive because that tends to help stress plant it's been about a week now since been like it's been like this and no change so i don't know um i will just leave it for a while to see what happens with that but aside from that you know all the plant was looking like this uh as you know, it's a there's several different species of peace lilies out there. So um, this is one with the finer leaves. I know what it's called, but I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll have to look where I wrote it down. Um, but yeah, um, disappointingly, you know, I was just so grateful for the sun. But you know, I just need to remember that not all plants need as much sunlight. But yeah. Um, the same with all my other plants in Lekka, the flushing method. Make sure that you fertilize a uh, peace lily. Don't have a period where it doesn't grow. So this plant will be growing whatever the season, spring, summer, winter. Um, it grows all year round. Um, so you'll always see this plant um, giving you new growth, new shoots, etc. Um, yeah. So good news and bad news at the same time because the damage um, was inflicted by me. But um, yeah, as you can see, um, it was doing quite well in Lekka until unfortunately I caused some damage. So yeah, so yeah. So um, another success story aside from the sun damage. So anyone has got peace lily and thinking about making the transition from soil into lecker um peace lily is one of the easiest plants to do so with and uh i encourage you to do so if you so desire thank you for watching please join me again next time as i do more video if you like this one and you want to see more of what i do um don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching